Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So I look a bit of a mess and that is because I've just gone back from my three weeks of solo interrailing Europe. If you've never seen my face before, hi my name is Jade, um, I'm 18 and I'm taking a gap year, just finished school. Yeah so I just went on this crazy three week travel trip around Europe by myself and I took this bad boy here, this 40 litre rucksack, which isn't actually that big, if you think about it. Like 40 litres for me, it was a real struggle to pack and I actually chose to buy a small bag so that it forced me not to overpack. And I don't know if you've heard people say it before that you should ha lie out everything that you wanna take to pack and then half it and half it again but um that's kind of what i had to do and i also took this bag which is a pack safe i'm not sure how many liters it is i'll put it somewhere on this screen right now but um love this bag love this bag and i'm gonna just basically tell you comprehensively what i took on my travels i've actually unpacked next to nothing um because i wanted this to be as accurate a representation of what i took as possible so i really do hope that it helps if you're interested in backpacking yourself because i had no idea what to take with me okay so i took two pairs of shoes with me on the whole trip i wore these trainers which were pretty standard Nike trainers and I wore them every day when I was going on like hikes and stuff. I personally chose not to bring hiking boots because I was in cities most of the time or just around towns. So I found these were fab. Never put them in my bag, I always wore them. They wouldn't fit in here, so yes. And I also have some flip flops as well, which I will show you. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take you through my bag, all the things that I brought. I'm gonna lie them all out for you. But it's so nice to be filming again. Like it's just been, it's been so long. So hi. And go watch my travel vlogs if you're interested in my solo travel trip. So. Oh, I also just want to say, this for me was a lifesaver. Here is a standard little bum bag purse belt thing all the time even when i was asleep most of the time or when i went to the shower or anything i would always be wearing this always and i would tuck it under my jumper if i had if i was wearing a jumper like this this isn't an outfit that i took traveling i'm just wearing this because whatever but it made me look a little bit but um it basically has all my most important things in it and i would never take this off i wouldn't I just wouldn't let people near it, it was mine. It has two compartments. The first compartment has a personal alarm and often I would keep this little strap here tucked out of the, the thingy so that I could yank it if I was in a really bad situation and then, I don't know, people would be alerted and they can come. I, I really don't like the sound but I'm just gonna demonstrate for you really quickly. I also took my English National Rail Pass because to get to London and home I had to have a ticket and I had to have my real pass so kept that safely in here. I also had a photocopy of my passport, there we go, whichever train ticket I needed for that day. In the second compartment this is where I have everything that I need to survive. I have my purse, my wallet, in my wallet I had my travel money card, I personally got the post office one. This basically stops you getting charged extra fees by using a non European like non-euro card because um, obviously we have pounds in the UK so this was great. Then I have my driver's license as a form of ID, I had my money, my euros. My interrail pass, really important for getting me places. I actually won mine with um, the Discover EU competition this year so this was free amazingly. It's very battered now, it's very on its way out. But yeah, you just have to fill in all the trains that you take, all the public transport and stuff you take. And I kept this in here. And lastly, I have my passport in here, which is also essential. And I didn't want it to be left in my bag in case my bag got stolen. Or if people tried to get into a locker, like I, I don't know, I just, I personally kept it in here. And I had zero issues with anything being taken, so. Also, I put my phone in here if I didn't want to carry it, but most of the time I had it in my hand. So that's the bum bag. I'm gonna quickly do my hand luggage bag too, because this, again, everything in here was quite, quite essential. So I had a one liter reusable bottle and then Along my travels, I also picked up a 1.5 litre big Evian bottle, which I carried in this one. I would generally fill these up at cafes or at the hostel, um, but I just always like to have a lot of water just in case I get thirsty. <laughs> this bag has two compartments and I would always 
padlock it. The reason I love this bag so much is because it's designed to not be able to be have stuff stolen. So both of these zips you can attach to this little keyring thing. Let me show you. So these zips you can attach them to like a little carabiner clip and so if someone wanted to get in they'd have to like faff around with this loads and like realistically a thief is not going to be able to do that so yes and it's also slash proof which is cool um because in rome especially on the metro that is a big issue people slashing your bag so with this one it has like a really thin steel mesh wire thing so they can't slash it so in the front compartment i have a pen and i have vaseline my lips get dry very easily, so I use this a lot, and I like to have it in my hand, hand luggage. <laughs> I say hand luggage, but like I carry everything with me most of the time. But this is just like easy to get to. I have random documents that I haven't binned. Probably need to get rid of those. I was inspired by Jack Edwards um, to make a spreadsheet with where I'm gonna be on what which day. So I printed this and I gave it to my mum, I gave it to my dad, so they could kind of see on which date where I'd be roughly. I mean, my plans did, did change a bit. I had another day in Venice, I took off a day in Rome, I did loads of different things, but this was general in case I forgot what the hell I was doing. And inside this thing as well, I also had my travel insurance policy details and I would keep my um, printed train reservations for the Eurostars and the night trains in here. And then I would take them out when I need them and put them into my pouch. Period pads, <laughs> some cheap essential sunglasses and it did get very sunny. I actually only had two days of rain in the whole trip, which is crazy for October in Europe. Being a YouTuber, I did also bring a camera and the camera case and a small tripod as well. I have some sun cream. And then I would generally also put snacks in this bag as well. Then in the main compartment, I had my laptop, which is, I don't know, a bit uh, controversial to take your laptop traveling, but I personally did. As long as you don't flash it all the time at hostels and you are careful when you bring it out and you're aware of where it is, I think it's fine. And this bag also has a laptop compartment, so love it i brought a travel diary with my itinerary in if i was ever bored or had a spare moment i liked to use this as a diary and just write about the day's experiences i'd really recommend that actually plastic bag because they're useful even though i'm not a big fan of plastic deodorant i kept it in here just for ease of access i have this it's like a collapsible bag so instead of just using plastic all the time i could open this up and it's a cute bag with pineapples on it <laughs> and i would use this if i went to like a store and bought food collapse it up again charger and the european adapter on it as well so i had that for both my laptop and my um phone inside this bag portable charger i actually have the sturdiest heaviest portable charger ever but i didn't recharge this fully like in the whole trip. I think it's like 10 recharges or more in this before it will die. So I loved just knowing that if my phone was dying, I could just quickly plug it into this for a bit and then it was fine. So yeah, I'd really recommend having a portable charger just for peace of mind in case you need your phone, which we do nowadays. I bought this in Annecy and it is a waterproof case for your phone and I did use this quite a few times on the trip when I went in like a lake and stuff just to get photos in the water. My friend actually used it when we were ziplining as well to put around her neck and have her phone in it. Quite useful. A random hat. This is so useful. I created a little packet like this and inside it was all the stuff that I would need to sleep with. In a hostel, just before I went to bed, I would get this out, put on my sleeping mask, which I'll demonstrate for you. Here we go. Because when you're in a hostel dorm and there are like 10 people sometimes, they might turn on the lights and just be bad dorm mates and you need to be able to stay asleep. And then I also had earplugs, which you just put in and then you don't hear everyone talking and being annoying. <laughs> Although I would recommend with the earplugs that you bring two sets or more because I did end up losing one of them, but I brought another set, so it was fine. And there you go, now you can sleep. And the reason I kept this in this bag and not this bag is so that I could use it on a train or on a bus if I was trying to get to sleep, which I didn't actually do, but you could easily do. And then as I say, I'd always keep some vegan snacks in my bag in case I get peckish, which I always did. And that is my handbag. So I'm gonna tackle this one now. Okay, so first things first, 
I have a Tupperware thing and I brought this just because I thought it might be useful but in reality this was more useful than I ever could have imagined. So most days I would cook in hostels because it's a lot cheaper food wise and then I would make extra put it in the Tupperware and then have it for lunch the next day. If you want to save money, if you want to cook in the hostels, bring Tupperware. I made the stupid mistake of not bringing cutlery. I don't think I thought I would even use this really. So I had this one plastic fork which got so broken and I used it most most times or stole one from the hostel for the day and then gave it back in the evening. So yeah, I'd recommend bringing Tupperware and I'd recommend bringing cutlery or like a spork. If you've been following my travels on Instagram or on YouTube, you would have seen this jumper in almost every shot. And that is because it didn't fit in my bag. So I wore it everywhere. Like this was my outfit and I would always wrap it around my waist if I didn't want to wear it or I would just wear it all the time. It's super comfy. It had this handy front pocket, which I really liked. You just put your hands in there. I sometimes put my phone in there if I just needed my hands quickly. Yes, loved this. I also brought one pair of jeans and these are like the comfiest jeans in existence. Paper bag jeans, plastic bag. Okay, so most of the time during my travels, I would sometimes pick up some really cheap, useful food item just in case I then came to a location where the food wasn't so good, like the availability of cheap food. So I carried around these 49 cents lentils. And if I could, I would also try and find like a really quick, easy, cheap meal, which I could have cold if I needed to. And I would carry those around with me just as necessity food if I needed it. I have a first aid kit. I have a sleeping bag liner. And I brought this just in case you weren't given linen at a hostel or if the linen was like really disgusting. But I never used this once, so... I'm not certain I'd bring it next time, but I feel like I still might just for peace of mind. But yeah, don't bring a sleeping bag. I don't think you're gonna need it, unless you're camping. I have a microfiber towel, and I had this already from DOV again. Genuinely, do not bring a normal towel. Uh, the microfiber towel will save you. You can use it and hang it up to dry, and it's dry so quickly, and it folds up really small. I also have this really old coat, which again, packed down really small. And then if I take it out, it's like a puffy coat, so that I could just be warm, if I needed to. And then in terms of clothes and things, I brought this packing cube, this packing cube, this packing cube, and this toiletries bag. And that is basically the contents of my bag. So I managed to somehow fit all my clothes into this. Like this is my clothes. So I'm gonna show you now what I packed. So we have some like harem pants which was super comfy to like travel in, to use to sleep in, to just chill in. They're like joggers, but packed down a lot smaller. We have this, which basically became my nice outfit. So if we were going out in the evening somewhere nice, if I was going for a nice meal, if I wanted to look nice on a summery-ish day, I would wear this. It is a jumpsuit that packs down very, very, very small and I love it. I had this top, plain black top and I would just wear this with jeans or whatever. I had these shorts and I didn't actually end up wearing them that much, but they packed down so small I thought it was worth bringing them anyway, just in case the weather was nice. I had this DOV style top, so it was really sweat wicking. I went for a really long cycle ride in Lake Annecy and I wore this, so it was like a sporty t-shirt. Or if I wanted to go for a run, which I didn't do. If I was gonna go for a run, I planned to wear this. And then to go along with that, I brought these sports leggings because they do pack up really small, but I didn't wear them because I didn't do any exercise. Uh, I probably still would bring them again just to have the option of exercise clothes. I then brought these really practical trousers, DOV trousers again, and they basically, they unzip the bottom unzips and they become shorts. So they don't look that fashionable, but functionally they are really great. And they're like water resistant. And when it was raining, it was just helpful. I have this really light t-shirt, which doubled up as both a pajama top, a traveling top, and just like a comfy, nice top. <laughs> I had this t-shirt, which basically does exactly the same thing as the gray one, comfy. And again, just packs down so small. I had this top, which, I ended up wearing quite a lot actually with the jeans, just very, very easy, plain black top. Again, packs down to 
absolutely nothing. I had these plain black leggings. All those clothes I fit into this one packing cube. So it is possible. <laughs> yeah, like all these clothes I fit into this one packing cube. And then this packing cube, I have my pajama, my pajama top. So I would generally wear this to get to sleep in. I would sleep in it with my black harem pants, which I would also sometimes travel in. I think they're in the wash right now, but yeah, they're just like plain black um kind of baggy pants i have this top as well which should be packed with the other stuff and i wore this a lot with the jeans as well i packed seven underwear i packed two bralettes three pairs of socks but to be honest i probably could have just brought two i re-wore them a lot and i didn't really mind i brought a sports bra and i also prepared three um packs of oats just in case i didn't like have a good breakfast I could go to the kitchen and I could cook up some porridge. It's just a really good, easy, vegan, like substantial meal. It was sectioned into the portion sizes. So yeah, and that went in this packing cube. In this packing cube, I had my my like practical miscellaneous random stuff. So I had my camera battery charger, some clothes travel soap. So I did actually use this to wash my clothes sometimes. I hand washed my underwear once, which was a horrible experience and drying it was a horrible experience but did use this soap. I brought B12 vitamins and in here I put like a range of vitamins. I put B12, vitamin D, some like fruit and vegetable capsules and I did take them like a few times on my trip just get my health up. I have these soap leaves and once when I used a washing machine instead of buying soap like buying washing up stuff I could just put in a few of these leaves. So they're just super, super thin leaves. They basically disintegrate into soap when they hit water. They're just in this convenient little thing. Put like a bunch in with my washing and work like a charm. I also have this extension cord and it's not just an extension cord, it's an adapter thing. So I put it in the European like charging thing and then I'd have two British ones. So say I had one plug, plug socket but I wanted to charge my camera and my phone, I could plug this in and then use the two things to charge both of those. And it also like packed up and it has like a Velcro thing so that it's quite handy. I also brought like the travel wristband things in case I was feeling really sick on a bus, which didn't happen, but I thought I'd bring it anyway. I brought some insect repellent, which is kind of dumb because I was in Europe and I didn't really need it. But then saying that I did get stung by a lot of mosquitoes, so I didn't use it, but like I probably should have. <laughs> I think I had this from D of E, so I brought it. It's like, it packs down really small and then it's like, oh, look at that, it's a towel, you know? I didn't end up using it, to be honest. I think maybe if I put it in my handbag thing, I probably would have used it, but I didn't use it. And I have another adapter in case I lost one of my other adapters because I didn't want to pay for one while I was traveling. Nearly there, nearly there. Then I had this, which is my toiletries bag. So in the back, I have two hairbands and simple, face wash wipe things because your face does get pretty manky. I have some face cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss. And I did try and floss whenever I could because you know, dental hygiene. <laughs> and because I ate so much rubbish. I brought two mini shaving things. I didn't really bring much makeup because I personally just don't really wear much makeup, but I did bring some. I brought mascara and I brought an uh, eyelash curler, just, you know, a bit of pizzazz. And also I brought an eyebrow brush out gel thing and a brush and just some powder, just, so I look less sweaty. I also brought this cream with me, which is Madara, which is like organic vegan skincare. It has a tint to it, so it's a bit like BB cream. It's called Sunflower Golden Beige. My skin definitely got worse during my travels because I was eating worse. And a nail clipper, because that's useful. I love that it had so many compartments as well. Oh, and I filled this with period pads. And then in this area of the bag, so this is like the main compartment. And what I love so much about this bag, as opposed to like my DOV rucksack, is that you can unzip it. So you carry it like a rucksack but then you unzip it and then you can open it and for packing it just, it makes life so much better. So here I have my flip flops. I wore them whenever I was at hostels or in the shower if the floor looked really manky and also it's just nice to get rid of your trainers and just wear flip flops. I have a mini thing of like leave-in conditioner for my hair just cause curly hair is a pain. My retainer because otherwise my teeth would move. I have this thing which is a menstrual cup so when I was on my period 
could use this. Mini travel shampoo and mini travel conditioner. I brought this thing and honestly it was a waste of space. I don't even know what I put in it. Oh, I put like random travel guides and no. This was, I did not need to bring this thing. Bye. Swimsuit, really worth bringing. French phrase book and dictionary. And I brought one for French and Italian and I brought a guidebook of Rome. Uno, never ended up playing it, but um, good game, snack. And let's continue into the front compartment of my bag. Okay, so in this compartment I had a whole bunch of vegan snacks. Being vegan, you've got to be somewhat prepared. Generally, traveling vegan was absolutely fine. Very, very doable. But um, from home, I just thought I'd make my life easier by having a few snacks on hand. I had some hippies, crisps, just random things. I brought a really thin packable thermal so that if I was really cold or if I wanted like a cardigan, then wear this. I have a raincoat, which I did end up needing, so don't forget to bring your raincoat. And I have this thing, which is both a blanket and like a wrap. So it's like when I was wearing a nice outfit, I could just go out wearing this. It was like nice to just like wrap around me or if I wanted a blanket when I was going to sleep. Oh, here are my black harem pants, my travel pants. Spare mini socks. So I, the other socks I brought were like thicker around the um, ankle, but these were like mini, mini ones. I brought tea bags, which I did use at hostels. So I've got some green tea, some night tea. And there's also a laptop compartment in this bag. So if I wanted to leave my laptop in a luggage storage thing with this bag, I could just put it in there. And then I brought two padlocks on this bag as well. So I have a thicker master padlock, which I could use on a locker. Most hostels don't actually give you padlocks for the lockers and you can't use them if you don't have a padlock. So I brought extra padlocks and I would always padlock this bag as well. Wow, um, I wish this camera angle showed the room right now because it's a bit of a state. I didn't realize I packed this much. What I can say to you from my experience is please try and pack like as little as possible because you don't need that much. The more stuff you have, the more stressful it is. Just make sure you're packing essential stuff, like pack stuff you actually do need, outfits that you know you will wear. Multi-purpose things are great. Yeah, you learn as you travel what you need and remember that you can always pick things up along the way as well.